Array functions are pretty amazing. You can do matrix math if that's something that you do on a regular basis. But if not, you can do so many everyday things using array functions that you can do in one cell that would normally take an entire column. So let's take a look. Right here I just have the S&P monthly returns. Normally if I wanted to know how the S&P did for the whole year, I can't just add them up, right? Because these are returns. So the only way to calculate it is to take one plus the January return times one plus the February return times one plus the March return and so forth and so forth and multiply all those together and then subtract one. And if I were to do it in one column, I would simply take start with January and the cumulative return for February would be February plus one times January plus one minus one. So this is how I would do it if I used a full column. And there you can see 11.4 is my year to date return. But let's say I wanna do this all in one cell where you don't have to write out everything. So I'm gonna say year to date and I'm gonna use an array function. So I'm gonna take the product of each of these plus one and then I'm gonna subtract one from the entire product. Now here's the big key. You can't just hit enter to finish your formula. You have to hit control shift enter. A lot of people will call these CSE functions because you have to hit control shift enter. I still call them array functions, I don't know. 11.4, we got the same answer. Um, and if you look back at the formula, after you've done that, you're gonna see these little brackets at the end and that indicates that it is an array function. Let's say you want the average monthly return of the S&P, but you don't care if it went up or down. You just wanna know how much it goes up or down on average. So you want the average of the absolute value. So normally you would create an absolute value column. Say absolute value of the return and you'd copy it down. And then you could easily take the average of those values. Now that seems simple enough, but we're gonna try to make it even simpler. So here, I'm gonna say average of the absolute value of each of these values. Control shift enter. And I get the same number, 2.1%. Now one of the coolest things you can do with an array formula, I'm gonna clear all this out. Let's say I wanna look at this same data, but I wanna look at it in a horizontal table instead of a vertical table. So I'm gonna look at how much space it takes up, two by 13, and I'm gonna find that much space horizontally, two by, uh, two by 13. I'm gonna say equals transpose, I'm gonna transpose the data, and I'm gonna highlight my original data that's it, close parentheses, and then control shift enter. And there it is. Don't forget to subscribe for more Excel tips and tricks.